Opening day festivities wrapping up, and we'll be back to get this season started right after this. Live from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Kansas City Royals. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. So the Kansas City Royals with a gloomy outlook heading into the season. Definitely a long shot to contend. Singy, how do they outperform expectations? And give that fan base some hope. Boog, I got a feeling these fans are going to have to enjoy the little things this year. Maybe a fan favorite has a great season. Maybe a prospect really emerges or something. But this roster, it's just not cut out to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the league's best. I know it sounds like I'm writing them off already, but I'm really not. I mean, who knows? If they have a hot start. Maybe the front office gets aggressive and adds some pieces, and they contend this year after all. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. And on the hill in this one, Zach Greinke. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Ready to go. And now for the Twins, Donovan Solano. The pitch. Tapped softly on the ground. And that's just foul. The 0-1. Slow roller to third. Lopez collects. One up, one down. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Here's Carlos Correa, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Runner at first with two away. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Byron Buxton. And fouled off. Thing you know, Zach Grinke, a guy that even while he's been playing, he likes scouting amateur talent in person and watching guys on video. Well, in the 2012 year when he was with Milwaukee, he went into their draft room and there was video oh, on the screen of a certain player and he pointed at the screen Grinke did and said, that's the guy you should take with you. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. One left for Minnesota. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium and on the hill here today, Joe Ryan. What's the word on him? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out, and not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. And here it comes. Strike two. No ball, two strikes.
This one high in the air to left center. Buxton moves under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. No, with the shift on, hits right into it. Zips it across, and they get Perez for the out. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Vinny Pasquantino getting ready to hit. Next pitch has popped up. Farmer makes the catch, and that'll do it. Royals bats are quiet there. We played an inning. No score. Welcome back. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. The designated hitter, Jorge Polanco. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off left side. Granke, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a change-up, a curve, a slider, and occasionally uses a cutter. 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No score here in the second. That one is lifted in the air. Two down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Two outs, base is empty. Christian Vasquez, the next twin up to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Into the outfield, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, just a classic case of finding a hole with that one. He didn't have to hit it real hard in that direction. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Max Kepler at the plate. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Kansas City. And now, Nicky Lopez. The right-hander back to work. Liner to second and picked on the hop. 
And they get the out. Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals. That one down the line. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. That exists. The second baseman, Michael. Michael Massey, the next to hit. And a foul ball left side. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. In the air, left field. And that'll do it. Royals go down 1-2-3. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning, stepping in, Joey Gallo. Granke, 39 years old, and he won a gold glove in 2019. Granke, back to work. Going one. Gallo goes six feet, five inches, 29 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. Right-hander kicks, deals. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Lopez settles underneath it. The wind of the pitch. Liner snagged it first. Here's Donovan Solano. Good contact guy, good defender. Solano hitting leadoff in today's game, and he's a native of Colombia. And that's in there for strike one. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Lifted in the air right center field. Waters trots over to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. Grounded out his first time. In there for strike one. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five next inning. And a pitch. There's a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. The 0-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Nothing doing here for the Twins. And we are still scoreless. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Drew Waters. 
the pitch. Smash to the left side. Into the outfield base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. Tap back to the mound. The throw to second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And now it's Kyle Isbell. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Up the middle. The flip, Solano, toss to second, can't glove it cleanly. Well, I guess we could chalk that one up to great teamwork. It wasn't pretty by any means, but helping your teammate out like that and then knowing he had time to go to second, keep a runner out of scoring position. Very heads-up play right there. Now, we couldn't hear it with all the noise in this ballpark, but I'm sure there was some good communication right there, some body language. These guys got it done. Witt stands That's in with two ball. away as he takes a ball. To third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. That one fouled off. Two outs. And it's one and one. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Two on, two outs. Going to count one and two. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Out there to center. Buxton moves under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Royals strand a pair. Still no score. Out of the fourth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Carlos Correa. The wide to kick the pitch. And that's a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. He could have a really good day out there on the mound. Chopper right side. He's in there. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Here's Byron Buxton. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. This guy with light tower power. Correa, the board here at first with nobody out. Next pitch is outside. To short, could be two. With over to second, and it's a double play. Oh, very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Now it's the Twins DH, Jorge Polanco. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And 
and a foul ball. Left field, Isbell going back, back some more, snags it on the run. And that is that. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, and now Vinny Pasquantino. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. That one blasted deep to right. Kepler raging back towards the wall. Still going back. And out of here. They're going crazy in the dugout. His first homer of the year. It's 1-0. so impressive you have to have such a clear and direct path to the baseball on a split finger of that location inside part of the plate did a tremendous job of staying inside of it and keeping that ball fair Nicky Lopez up to the plate first offering and it just misses oh he's just got to delete it you give up that leadoff home run go back to work focus on this next batter Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And that one is lifted in the air. And it drops in. couple of hits in a row for him here. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. Out to short. Oh, great stop. Correa to second. On to first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And that one wrapped foul. Left-hand hitter waits. Center field. Buxton moves under it. Makes the grab. And there's two down. The center fielder, number six, Drew. Drew Water stands in. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. In the air out to center. Buxton sizing it up. Makes the play and it's out number three. The Royals get a run in the inning on this solo homer. It's now a one nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Jose Miranda. And the right-hander back to work. 
And that one is in for a strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. Deal two. And a ground ball to first. Down the line, and it's foul. Here's the 0-2. And that just misses. It's a good take. Got him. And there's one down. And now it's Christian Vasquez. And he's already singled in this game. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And now the 1 Back to right. Two away down. Now batting Max Kepler. He's over one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty delivers. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And he deals. In the air, left field. Isbell under it. Makes the catch inning over. Twins retired in short order. They still trail 1-0. Bottom of the inning. And to the plate for Kansas City. Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Foul ball there. And the right hater deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Liner, base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. So up next, Kyle Isbell. He's 0 for 1. Next pitch has popped up. Solano has this one sized up. He's got it. And there's one down. So the batting order turns over. So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. One. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip oh. your cap on that pitch. One and one. On the ground, two ball. Correa tossed the second. Over to first, but he beats it. Going well, aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play, and it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Couldn't get enough on it to get the second out at first for that double play. Nice job by the base runner. Salvador Perez digs in now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Fouled off down the right side.
kicks and fires. One on one. Foul ball. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still a one and two count. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Into center. It falls in, and that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Vinny Pasquantino now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. He swings and fouls one off. Deal one. Popped up. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. So they strand a pair. Five innings complete. It's the Royals one and the Twins nothing. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Frankie back to work. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Isbell makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Here's the second baseman, Donovan Solano. To the right side, Massey picks it up, tosses the first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Minnesota, Kyle Farmer. Farmer, 32 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2013. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. There's a strike. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. High chopper to third. Lopez tosses the first. Out number three. Nothing across here this half. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Royals one and the Twins nothing. Back here in Kansas City. Bottom of the six. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Nicky Lopez. And a pitch. And that one pulled foul. And a pitch. On the ground the first. He takes it on his own. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now that the designated hitter, Edward Olivares. Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals.
And the first pitch the misses for ball one. Fly ball down the line. Kepler under it. That's out number two. It's a little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapsing just a little bit. Trying to put the ball in the air. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Ripped on the ground a second. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now the center fielder, Drew Waters. In the air, out towards right center. Buxton moves under it, and that ends the inning. Royals leave one, but they still lead it one nothing. Top of inning number seven, and here comes Carlos Correa. And things could change quickly here with one swing. The pitch. There's a strike. And that's down and away. One and one. That's a strike. And it's one and two. Hit hard. That gets through. No outs. Runner at first. And here is Byron Buxton. And that one fouled off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Makes the catch one down. Jorge Polanco will hit next. Grounder might be two to second for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Royals one and the Twins nothing. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Kenta Maeda. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Hunter Dozier steps in for the Royals. The wind of the pitch. In plenty of time to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now the left fielder, Kyle Isbell. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Now fly ball to right center. Buxton moves under it. Two down. Now batter. The shortstop. 
So the lineup flips over. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. On the ground to third. The throw to first. That ends the inning. KC down in order. They lead it 1 0. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Jose Miranda. There's the strike. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. 0-2 now. Just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Gets under and pops it up. Massey under this one. But the first baseman gets there instead. And there's one away. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And a weak ground ball to the left side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Swing and a ball popped up. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Out number two. Max Kepler, the next twin up to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. Kepler checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And yes, he offered at it. Oh, and two now. Got him swinging. Twins are set down one, two, three. They trail here, one nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, stepping in the long ball threat, Salvador Perez. The right-hander back to work. On the ground is short. Lead-off man is out here in the eighth. Vinny Pasquantino getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Slings to first. And a couple of quick outs. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nicky Lopez. Line to left. Squeezes it. That is the inning. Looks like. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now it's going to be Joey Gallo. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Scott Barlow. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here.
And a pitch. There's a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Swings through that. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air. Dozier under it. And there's one away. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. So up next for Minnesota, Donovan Solano. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swings through that one oh, out in front that time. The 0 2. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Boom. He was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. And now for the Twins, Kyle Farmer. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Right-handed reliever. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Thank <laughs> you.